Hello, Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I am going to be showing you how to recycle aluminum and a bunch of other parts from a spinning hard drive. These hard drives are becoming dinosaurs in today's world. And there's a lot of good parts on them. Alright, so we're going to start with a T8. works bit and just start unscrewing all the screws to get the lid off Now, uh, once you have all the screws off, there's always a hidden screw somewhere under the label here. And it's just a matter of finding it. And where is it? This one is hiding from me. Is it going to make a liar out of me this time? Try peeling it off anyway. And I'll bet you there's a screw under here. Let's see, let's grab a knife. safest way to do that. There it is, right there. Alright, so that should be all the screws now. Unless I missed another one somewhere. There we go. Alright, so this is the inside of a drive. Now what I'm finding, the, C, the Seagate hard drives have a different setup. They actually have a motor that is built into the case and the arms rest in this position here rather than uh, most of the other drives. Well, the, Western Digital Drives have a little docking platform. So this is a magnet here. There's actually two of them, one on top, one on bottom. We're going to pull those out of here. And this should just pop right out. Now one thing you'll notice with these magnets, if I put a piece of steel on the outside of the magnet, it doesn't feel anything. If I go to the inside of the magnet, oh, make a liar out of me here. This is not a magnet. The, the magnet is actually on the bottom piece on this one. Interesting. Okay, haven't seen this design before. So, right now what we're going to do is pull the armature off.
All right, that we take off. So now we have, ooh, that's a strong magnet there. Oop, wrong size, let's go to a smaller size Torx bit. This is a, well, that's a T7, that's not gonna fit. I need a T6, I believe. There's my T6, right there. So, now, what you will see, this is a very strong magnet here, but on this side, well, very weak magnet. Let me say that. You can just barely feel any kind of a magnetic pull here. Here, it's really strong. Now, on most of the drives that I've pulled apart, there's a magnet on the bottom and a magnet on the top. But right now, uh, I'm seeing that this has no value. So, um, these magnets I love to use on different things. And I will put that aside and put it in my magnet pile. So, we've got a little air filter here, which we throw away. The rest that's on here is the platter. So I'm going to pull the platter off on this right now. Again, using my T6 Torx bit. And in case you're wondering, I do DOD wipe all my hard drives before doing this. Now this ring is aluminum. My wife likes to take these and make jewelry out of them, so I'm going to put this in her pile. And the platter here is also aluminum, and I could probably melt this down if I wanted to, but I've got another project that I'm going to be using. Uh, you can see I have a stack of platters here. I'm just going to add that to the stack and I will be using these for other projects down the road. Alright, so that's everything we have on this side of the drive. And we flip over here. We've got this card and I need to change bits again. This is a T8, I believe. That's my T7. That's my T8. Yes. This is a T8 Torx bit. Now these control boards on the hard drives, I understand they can be reused by companies that deal with data recovery. I do not do that. If anyone knows a source of where to send these cards for data recovery purposes, I would be happy to send them free of charge, uh, just paying for shipping. So if someone's willing to pay for shipping, that would be great. I've got a whole stack of these cards that uh, I'm either going to toss or send off to a data recovery company. So, last thing we have on here is the motor. Now, on this one, this is a Seagate hard drive. The Seagate hard drives have a motor built in to the housing. I just stick a roll of tape under here Stick the motor or center the motor over that and take a hammer and I will be right back to 
get a hammer. All right, so with this centered over that roll of tape, this is just a deck screw that I'm using to pound. There we go. So now we've got that out. Set that aside. Now this is aluminum, but it has a magnet in it too. And it also has some kind of a bearing built onto it. Um, so I don't take the time to, to deal with those. This, of course, is part of the magnet that's built into it. What I will do right now is simply break off the connector here. Throw that away and break off the coils. And that is now trash. And we have a nice solid piece of aluminum here that can be recycled. I don't know, that's maybe half a pound of good casting aluminum. So, I will be making this, along with a bunch of its brothers, into something else in the future. So, I've got a bunch of these motors too. This is out of a different type of hard drive. I guess they started making them cheaper by actually building the motor into the drive. The older ones, the motors are a separate piece. So, these will have some value down the road. But... This is what I'm after today. And these magnets. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.